Good morning, everyone. My name is Maddie Stream, and I am going to do your February the 2nd spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. I'm excited to be with you. It's 3.38 a.m. and I am excited to spend this time with you. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. Okay, uh, the title is Pushing Through Perseverance. Pushing Through Perseverance. As new things are revealed, we feel renewed. We need to stay open-minded and willing to do that one extra thing. Now that comes from the basic text, chapter 10, more will be revealed. Though not all of us arrive in, in A with tons of willingness and enthusiasm to change everything about our lives, we tend to be open enough to try something different. We're here, aren't we? So we might as well take that 90 meetings in 90 days suggestion. We get a home group and take on a commitment. We greet newcomers with some effort and perseverance. We begin to work a program and to feel better, even renewed. In time, many of us get to a point where those feelings of renewal get old. The well dries up. We aren't having daily epiphanies of self-realization. Our life is more stable, sure, but is it still getting better? Do we have to keep doing the N.A. same old, same old, hearing the same shares, reading the same literature, drinking the same weak tea or bitter coffee? Don't leave before the miracle. We've heard our fellow members say time and again. While many of us don't believe in miracles per se, our experience has shown us that if we stay, stay in the room, stay open-minded, stay available to another addict, stay clean, our lives will continue to improve. And we will be better prepared for those times when life's unpredictability presents us with challenges. We never know where we're going to hear just what we need to help us through our next phase of recovery. It's often in the meeting we really don't want to go to, the speaker we've heard a thousand times, or the phone call we begrudgingly answer. We may not have even noticed that we are or were stuck until a message moves us into action. When we can push through our resistance, especially when it comes to helping others, we reap enormous benefits for our spiritual growth. The, sp the miracle, excuse me, of this program is continually revealed to us through our perseverance. Today, I'm going to find that one extra thing to do and have faith that I'll be re-energized in my recovery. Whether or not I feel that rush of renewal, I'll do it again tomorrow and the day after that. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. What a wonderful meditation talking about being able to push through with perseverance and in particular talking about that plateau, right? That, that point in your recovery where and you've heard everyone share in the city, in your home group. You've been to every convention. You've sponsored people. You've heard every step that a person can imagine. You've done the steps. Ah, the same old, same old. And you find yourself thinking to yourself, is this it? I mean, I don't know about you, but I have. Is this all? Is this, is this how it's going to be? I, I made it 
into Narcotics Anonymous and year after year after year, the same situations come up, the same opportunities to fellowship, the same people are sharing at our conventions. The I've gotten to the point I don't even buy CDs anymore when I go to a convention. I think the one in Chicago, I finally brought some CDs. But I did it because I had a house full of men in recovery that that was their first experience at a convention. And I wanted to make sure that I captured the moment for them. But other than that, I can honestly say I haven't brought a CD for a convention in so long. You just get tired. And you think to yourself, <laughs> this is it. But it's not. It's not. When they say don't leave before the miracle happens, I know that I'm not necessarily looking for a miracle per se, but I know that that refreshment, that re-energizing feeling that comes on me when I tackle something and I say and make up my mind, I'm not going to dwell in self-will. I'm going to dwell in goodwill. I am going to do the right thing for the right reason. I am going to show up at that meeting and I am going to bring my best contribution for the good and the unity of Narcotics Anonymous. And when I make that decision, I find I'm automatically re-energized. I'm automatically excited. The power of a thought. Pushing through with perseverance begins with the thought to do it. And I've learned that in Narcotics Anonymous. You know what? I'm going to the World Convention. I already got my work, my, my room taken care of. And the only thing that really was an issue for me, was just making up my mind to do it. So a lot of times I find that perseverance, that new life, that new energy that I'm looking forward to or that I desperately need is just in me making up my mind. Hey, how about this? Here's thought. Here's thought, old timer. Here's thought. Do 90 and 90. Double dog dare you. Do 90 and 90. Do 90 meetings in 90 days. Oh, here's a thought. See, now I'm looking at this at the bottom, okay? Where it talks about today, I'm going to find that one extra thing to do and have faith that I'll be re-energized in my recovery. Whether or not I feel that rush of renewal, I'll do it again tomorrow. And the day after that, here's a thought. Do 90 and 90. Here's a thought. Call one sponsee every day. And say, hey, what's up, brother? Or, hey, girl, <laughs> what's going on? You want to get some coffee? Hey, better yet, you know what? I can do Zoom for 40 minutes free. Let's Let's have a chat. Or if you got FaceTime or you got anything else that you can do a uh, uh, face-to-face virtual one-on-one -on -one with each other, do something that is outside of yourself, You're reaching for another recovering individual every day for 90 days. Do 90 meetings in 90 days. Call one person that you sponsor a day. And make a commitment. Tell your friends, hey, every Saturday at 7 p.m. after the meeting, we're going to have a parking lot meeting at Denny's. We're going to go somewhere and have an evening meal together. We're going to drag a newcomer with us. We're going to all pitch in on their meal. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this has worked for me before. And it's going to work for me again. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to actually do. And I'm going to try to drag you into this with me, right? I need to get back in shape. I need to get back in the gym and I need to start eating properly. It is a must. 
it is a must. It affects my self-esteem so intensely that this is a part of my personal recovery and I must do it. And you know what? I'm going to start today. I'm not going to, I'm. there's no way I'm going to do this meditation and leave you hanging talking about perseverance and say, oh, tomorrow's a better time. Let me just do that tomorrow. No. <laughs> I know my friends from Chicago, they're having a good time listening to the meditation today. But you know what? In real talk, real talk. If I don't take better care of myself, I honestly, all of the dreams that I have, I don't know if I'll be attaining them because I will be in so much pain and laid up from arthritis and obesity. No, 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 no. I don't have time and energy for that. Even in the face of burying my father, I was talking to a, another recovering addict and I was like, man, I hope I don't let you down. It's like, what are you talking about? Let me down. You thinking about using? No, actually I'm not thinking about using, but I got some things behaviorally speaking that I, I need to think some better thoughts right? It's, it's just like getting your clean time, coming up on your next year or whatever, and start getting squirrely. So I'm finding myself as I get closer to this funeral, some thoughts enter my mind. Check a few people, right? Check a few people. You the, you, you the eldest, check a few people, right? Even when I'm out in public and someone is supposed to be giving me great service and they're not, my mind says, you know what? They probably need to be fired by you. <laughs> How arrogant, right? How arrogant. So yeah, I have to also persevere in doing the right thing for the right reasons, going the extra mile for my own recovery. And I wouldn't dare do this meditation and not tell you what I intend to work on. And I'm celebrating today. I think that's why I'm so excited. 500 subscribers from where I started from. 500 subscribers. And I do believe with everything that I'm going through, it's just going to get better with time. Thank you for listening. I've enjoyed your company today. I want for you to have a beautiful day on purpose. I know you will. I'm not suggesting that you won't, but I want to make sure you know. That if you don't do it, nobody's going to have a beautiful day for you on purpose for you. <laughs> if you don't do it, it's not going to get done. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Talk to you tomorrow.